Raimunda Barnes is Assistant Vice President of Pearl River Community College's Hancock Center. He is a member of the Bay St. Louis Rotary Club and serves as Chairman of the Hancock Chamber Education Committee. Barnes and the committee members focus on the issues that affect community education as well as promote educational outcomes in a variety of ways. Committee projects include the annual Chamber Senior Appreciation Breakfast, the Excel by Five Early Learning Program, Bookworm's Reading Program, and the annual Teacher Appreciation Dinner. Each May, scholarships are awarded to one high school senior at each of the four high schools in the county. Barnes believes the committee's programs are critical to making sure our teachers and students have the resources, support, and encouragement they need to reach their highest potential. Barnes was recently recognized as a One Coast community leader for his passion and commitment to the continuous improvement of teaching and learning and was described as a true professional with a big vision for providing quality higher education and services to Hancock County citizens. Raimundo Barnes is one of Hancock County's outstanding citizens. David Bassett. David Bassett is a certified public accountant who has volunteered his time and expertise as treasurer of the Hancock Community Development Foundation for 10 years. The foundation is a public charity that sponsors and supports Hancock County community projects to stimulate job creation, foster small business growth, and support workforce development. The Foundation acts as an umbrella organization for 20 nonprofit causes, ranging from education to historic preservation. The Foundation's Job Generation Fund has worked with 44 companies where 39 jobs were created or retained. Bassett also oversees programs that promote business growth through grant research, development, and administration and coordinates charitable fundraising for educational and community programs and has been recognized twice as a Rotary Paul Harris Fellow. David Bassett is one of Hancock County's outstanding citizens. Elise Dino, Hancock County Youth Court Judge, is Chairman of Foster the Cause, a fund sponsored by the Hancock Community Development Foundation. Recognizing the importance of social activities for youth she sees in juvenile drug treatment courts, she has made it a priority to find community and enrichment activities for them to get involved in. She recently adopted the idea from a Michigan adult court of having the youth establish and maintain a community garden. Launched in 2016, Ruth's Roots was established on Court Street on property where the late Ruth Thompson and her husband operated Ruth's Cakery. The garden project is opening up a world of positive activities for the youth as they learn about building, marketing, economics, farm-to-table food preparation, and socializing. Judge Dino feels the garden has helped the kids learn about themselves and their potential. Elise Dino is one of Hancock County's outstanding citizens. Susan Duffy. Susan Duffy is the concierge at the Hancock County Visitor Center. Her broad knowledge of the area and genuine enthusiasm for the job represent the county well as she greets every visitor at the historic depot. Susan was recognized among the top 50 travel and tourism professionals nominated by their peers during the 2017 National Travel and Tourism Week observation for going above and beyond in service to travelers visiting the Mississippi Gulf Coast. She takes to heart the importance of tourism to the local economy and shares with visitors information and insight into local attractions, sites, businesses, and destinations. She continues to get high marks from those she comes in contact with in the local tourism industry, as well as the tourists who benefit from her experience and hospitality. Susan Duffy is one of Hancock County's outstanding citizens.
Craig Foster. Craig Foster is a financial advisor with Edward Jones, who opened his investment business 30 years ago. During those three decades, in addition to growing his business, Foster has dedicated himself to taking an active role in the Hancock Chamber and the Rotary Club, as well as community carnival clubs and the newly formed Lions Club. He has been recognized as a Rotary Paul Harris Fellow and is an advocate and sponsor of CASA of Hancock County activities, as well as many high school and youth league baseball, soccer, and volleyball teams. Foster is a tireless fundraiser and community supporter who remains committed to making Hancock County a better place for its residents for generations to come. Craig Foster is one of Hancock County's outstanding citizens. Madela and Blue Jordan Madela and Blue Jordan are known for working tirelessly and with great passion in numerous organizations in the county. The Jordans lost their son Christian in 2011 and since then they have made the commitment to honor his life and memory through service to the children of Hancock County by establishing the Christian Blue Jordan Foundation working with the Hancock Hawk Foundation. The foundation donates $4,000 in athletic scholarships annually. The Hancock Hawk Foundation provides monetary support through fundraising efforts to all athletic programs under the guidance of the Hancock County School District. Medela serves on the Hancock County Fair Board and has led board work for breast cancer awareness. She volunteers at Hancock High School and the couple spearheads the Hawk Foundation's main annual fundraiser, Blitzen on the Bayou. The Jordans also participate in the planning and coordination of the Bay St. Louis Conquer Chiari Walk Across America. Madela and Blue Jordan are Hancock County Outstanding Citizens. Paul Montjoy. Paul Montjoy is chairman of Keep Diamond Head Beautiful, an affiliate of Keep America Beautiful and the Hancock Chamber Beautification Committee. Through a variety of programs and initiatives with volunteers and community partners, municipalities, elected officials, and individuals, Keep Diamond Head Beautiful efforts are beautifying Diamond Head. The result makes the city more desirable to potential businesses and homeowners and makes residents proud to live in Diamond Head. Among the many beautification projects Montjoy has overseen are the Avenue of Oaks, where more than 50 oaks were planted, the landscaped entrance to the city, and the Diamond Head welcome signs. Diamond Head has been named a Tree City USA by the Arbor Day Foundation in honor of its commitment to effective urban forest management. And students from the Camp Shelby Youth Challenge Academy in Hattiesburg have partnered with the Keep Diamond Head Beautiful Committee to assist with pruning trees and shrubs around City Hall and adding a fresh layer of mulch around trees planted near the Diamond Head Interstate 10 interchange. Paul Montjoy is one of Hancock County's outstanding citizens. Christina Richardson, Ph.D., is a management consultant for nonprofit organizations and a writer, and she is primarily involved in volunteer work. Her goal is to stay busy, enjoy life, and to be useful in her new hometown of Bay St. Louis. She volunteers with the Bay Waveland Garden Club, the Bay St. Louis Little Theater, Friends of the Hancock Animal Shelter as president, the Master Gardeners of Mississippi program, and the Hancock County Historical Society. Richardson is also an artist, is a member of the Arts of Hancock County, and a freelance writer for the Shoe Fly magazine. She recently added St. Vincent de Paul to her volunteer list, and she is the chair of the Hancock County Advisory Board for the Gulf Coast Women's Center for Nonviolence. Christina Richardson, is one of Hancock County's outstanding citizens.
Susan Stevens is retired from the healthcare industry and is a dedicated volunteer with several organizations. She is a member of the board of directors of the Hancock Community Development Foundation, serves on the Hancock County Leadership Steering Committee, and is vice president of the Hancock Medical Center Board of Trustees. For the past two years, Stevens has been a volunteer at the Hancock County Food Pantry, where she conducts interviews with families. She handles certification, which is an annual process that involves looking at the client's documents and verifying their information. She interviews about 20 to 30 families per day and says she finds the volunteer work very rewarding and humbling. Through her volunteer work at Christ Episcopal Church, Susan was instrumental in creating the Hancock County Alliance for Health, a charitable organization that provides access to medications for people who cannot afford their prescription medication. The program has helped sustain the lives of hundreds of residents for more than 32 years. Susan Stevens is one of Hancock County's outstanding citizens. Chuck Underwood. Chuck Underwood is co-owner of Treasures of the Bay and Breezy Porch's Guest House in Waveland. For the past two years, he has served on the board of directors of the Hancock Chamber. He is coordinator of the annual Waveland Christmas Bazaar at the Ground Zero Hurricane Museum. Underwood has served on the City of Waveland's Sign Ordinance Task Force and is a past member of the Waveland Community Coalition. Underwood's community involvement shows that he is truly dedicated to the city of Waveland and its residents. He believes in the importance of joining Waveland's business together to promote each other to encourage business growth. As Underwood said, we support our locals because our locals support us. Chuck Underwood is one of Hancock County's outstanding citizens.